You can add almost anything to Sofa. Movies, books, video games, podcasts, board games, did I forget anything? Apps. But there are times where you do want to add more and you haven't been able to do that up until this point. Think of things like locations or comic books or places to eat or places to go on vacation or something else I can't think of, but that you are thinking of right now. I'm currently working on a feature that will allow you to add anything into Sofa. And I want to show you a little preview. This is far from done, but I just want to give you a little sneak peek into uh, what I'm putting together. So the first thing is what I'm calling buckets. Currently, I used to call these things data types, but that's kind of a crappy name. It's a little too technical. The name I'm thinking of is buckets. So if you hit the plus button here, you see video games, podcasts, music albums, all these things, right? And these are kind of the, the default ones that you get. These are kind of integrated into the app in a very deep way. But now if you go to say settings, there's going to be under general, it's going to be something called buckets. And there's going to be two types of buckets. You have the easy buckets, which are the ones I just showed you. So app, audiobook, board game, all those things. And if you want, you can toggle that stuff on and off if you don't care for any of these. But then down here you have what are I'm calling custom buckets. Now there's going to be two default custom buckets that everybody gets. One is just called custom, which is kind of a, a catch all for just kind of random things you throw in there. And then there's one called link, which is going to be used for uh, if you want to grab something from like a web page and just chuck it into Sofa. You'll be able to create your own buckets and how this will work is you hit new bucket. Say we want to do places to eat and we can change the icon and say fork, choose that, and then hit create. So now we have places to eat. Now you might be thinking, okay, cool. Now what, how do I actually use that thing? Got it. So now if we go back to the home screen and where you have this plus button. So if you hit the plus button here, again, we have our regular options we've always had, but there's these two new ones. One is add manually and the other is a link. Now I'm gonna click on add manually and you're going to get a couple options here. So this is kind of if, say, Sofa doesn't have something in one of the other databases, or again, you've created your own buckets and you want to add something to it. So you could say, I want this to be like some place to eat, right? Some place to eat. Um, you will be able to, to add a photo here, uh, give it a description if you want. And then where we have bucket here, Again, you can choose what type of thing this is, and this is where you can choose places to eat. And then you can choose which list this should go into, all that fun stuff. And then you would hit add. And then boom, you have now added a new place to eat and you can keep a list of those things. Now, if we go back to this buckets here, again, there's a lot of different things that you may want to add here, right? And say magazine, Let's choose that one, create, and you'll be able to do all that stuff here. So hopefully you can see that custom buckets are gonna add even more flexibility to Sofa. You know, maybe there's not a database that I can use for every single type of, of thing that exists, but you still wanna add stuff in here because it, it does make sense that these are still things that you would use in your downtime, right? You, you comic books fit into that. And, parks fit into that and places to eat and vacation spots, all that kind of stuff. So this is going to add a ton more flexibility to, uh, to the app. So like I said, lots of things don't work yet. I am still actively building this, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you a little preview of what I'm working on. So I haven't done a roadmap update in a little bit. So I figured I I'd walk through that as well. Now that I'm sharing some, some in progress work here. So you can get to the roadmap from, uh, the sofa website. So if you go to sofahq.com and then scroll to the bottom, there's a link to, to this roadmap that you can find. So I was originally planning, I was trying to do a, uh, like one release this summer and and then another release in the fall and the summer release would be this custom buckets one and then the release in the fall would ex exclusively be for the ios 17 stuff that's not going to happen it's most likely that 
all of that stuff is going to be combined into a late summer, early fall release that coincides with iOS 17. So as I just walk through this uh, custom bucket, so again, there's there's going to be easy buckets and custom buckets and, and how all that's going to work. I just walk through that stuff with you. I also showed you a tiny bit of the uh, manual entry process and how it's going to work. The link stuff doesn't work yet, but how that's essentially going to work is, you know, you're looking at any web page uh, or something that has a link. I'm going to build that so you can essentially just kind of throw it into Sofa and it's going to do something very nice with it. Grab grab that metadata that, that you need and you can kind of make a list from that stuff. Uh, so like I said, there's still a lot of work I have to do to make all of this functional, but this is, uh, this is a heavy focus right now. The other thing I'm going to be doing this may get pushed to a later release, depending on how the other features shake out. But the more I'm thinking about this, the more I really want to explore a tab bar style design. And this is really being triggered by the uh, Vision Pro and Vision OS stuff that I, I'm, I also am going to be doing, where I think a uh, transitioning away uh, from the, the kind of like single list and you dive into stuff. Uh, design that Sofa has now to a tab bar style design could make a lot more sense, especially with some newer features that I have planned uh, later on. But again, this one, this might get pushed. iOS 17 updates. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing in here yet because uh, I have stuff that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm not sure exactly which things are going to fit in there. There's likely going to be widget stuff I'm going to be doing. But uh, again, I have like a list of things that I need to pare down to fit into this, but I need to finish up the custom bucket stuff first. And lastly is shortcuts improvements. Really the main thing with the shortcuts, shortcut stuff I want to do is add the ability to add things to Sofa via shortcuts. That is currently not possible today. And that's not possible today because it requires this custom buckets type feature. Um, so if you've been frustrated that you can't add stuff to Sofa, uh, today via shortcuts. Currently, that's because the different sources I use for data. So, you know, for movies, for video games, for books, all that stuff requires a very specific configuration to pull the right kind of information. Doesn't really make sense to add that and try and connect all that via a shortcut when you're adding stuff. But this custom buckets idea will allow you to just throw stuff into Sofa, you know, via shortcuts if you want. So that's something that you know, there's a lot of dependencies between features, and this is a good example of it seems like a simple thing to say, oh, yeah, just add something via shortcut, but it requires actually a, a good amount of infrastructure to handle something like that. So that is a little preview of the custom buckets feature I'm working on and some of my plans for essentially the rest of the summer. I still have a very good chunk of work to do uh, to build this stuff out. And, and I will be doing uh, beta releases for this as well to, to really test things out. Also, if you have any feedback about this feature, this idea, I'm still in the active stages of building it. So please feel free to share any, any feedback that you have uh, or things that I'm maybe not thinking about that would make this better. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.